Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I was going to make a video on the threat for some hurricanes in the Pacific Ocean, but then I just was thinking and thinking and it just came to my mind that I felt like if the heat that is going on in the country right now is way more important to talk about than the Pacific hurricanes, which most likely won't even have impact on any sort of land in a major way. So we are going to be talking about the heat today. And if you live anywhere in the eastern half of the country, I know in the west I don't think it's too ridiculously hot, but in the eastern half of the country it is absolutely insane. Where we, right now here in Chicago, we are at 97 degrees. It is unbearable to go outside. The only place where you can go outside and feel comfortable is the swimming pool. But it's even at the swimming pool, it could be dangerous because if you're out of the water for a safety break or something like that, you can be hurt by the sun. So this is, I felt like it was much more important to talk about. That's why we will be addressing the issue today. But before the video starts, guys, feel free to subscribe to my channel. It helps out a lot. If you want to support the channel in a great, fantastic way, all you got to do is hit that red subscribe button. You're subscribed. And that is, that is it. If you want to also leave a like and put a comment down, whether it's a question, or just a statement, whatever, it's all optional. Just I'm saying if you really want to help out this channel, then that's how you can do it. Moving on with this weather video, weather video, so you can see that the western half of the country right here, the northwest, is fairly cool actually, below average a lot of the um, country in the west, however the east is just insanely hot and if you actually zoom in even over my area, so let's go to north central US, this is another little cool thing, this is called the urban heat island effect. And it's basically because of all the pavement, the buildings, the people, the heat stays longer in the city than the suburbs, and it takes longer for it to leave during the night. And you can see how much above average it is right here compared to here. I mean, that is just some bright orange color. So this is six hours out, so this is today. And then it just maintains it for a long time. Um, you can see there's some blues here, but that is very minimal. If you're, if you're wondering what, I'll show you the actual temperatures in a minute. These are just basically anomalies. I should have mentioned this at the beginning. I apologize. But anomalies are basically, um, anomaly, anomaly, are basically, they show you where the temperature is above or below average, marked by the color orange. And below average is marked by blue at a certain time, which is right here. This is 6, Z, t uh, Tuesday, June 3rd, July 3rd. So that is around 2 o'clock in the morning, July and third, and it also shows you what, what location at a current time and whether it's above or below average. So I really like this map because it shows you where it's going to be above or below average. But let's zoom back out into the con US because we want to be focusing on the whole United States and especially the heat because the cool weather, you know, it's going to be cool in some parts of the locations. You can see like if the cool weather hits, um, say right there, central, central Illinois, um, Will that be cold? Absolutely not. The temperatures will still probably be like 84, 83, except it won't be hot or above average. It still might be hot, but it won't be above average. So just because it's below average slightly doesn't mean that it might not be hot. But at this time of the year, if it shows above average, it's going to be boiling hot. Because say average in Chicago right now, I think it's 82, 83. So if it's up to 8 degrees above average, that is 93, 94, 95. Which Chicago doesn't really see that much. We have already had three heat waves that were longer than three days, 90 degree temperatures so far this year in Chicago. And it does not seem to be stopping. You can see slightly cooler towards the mid part of July, slightly cooler, but then the heat just comes right back and it looks to be a fairly toasty summer overall for at least through mid-July. It looks to be much above average for most of the country actually. So of course, like I said, some parts in the West could see, see look, cooler areas, but then the next day above average. So I think it's going to equal out to mainly above average temperatures for the east, the midwest, the south, the central plains, the southeast, the southwest, the northwest. Overall, I think that the United States will see um, above average temperatures that will re lead to some concerns across the country. Again, those main concerns aren't with travel like most weather related situations because that's what most weather like say a snowstorm that's related to travel issues but this is just more like personal um health 
concerns like a heat stroke, heat exhaustion, dehydration, all those things can be very, very easily um, caught and achieved in this type of heat. I'll show you the temperatures in a minute, but before we do that, I'd also like to show you overall how the temperature seems to be playing out above average weekly. So you can see this is from the 6th, um, days 1 through 7 in the forecast. So uh, this is um, through, I think, the 6th. I, 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 I need to figure this out, guys, but this is days 1 through 7, so I think this is from st all the way to 7th July. From 30th of June to 7th of July, yes, that's where it's from. So this is from the 30th of June to the 7th of July. Of July. So that's about a week. Um, in the next week, look at see, you could see a lot of warm temperatures across the eastern half. Slightly cooler in the west doesn't mean it's going to be cold, but slightly cooler, which is enjoyable. So if you want to get away from the heat, the best location is the northwest. But again, if you want to be in the heat, the best place right now is midwest and the northeast by far. And we keep going forward. This is the next week. This is from the 7th of July to the 14th of July. So early mid-July, you could see that, again, the heat continues and slightly warms up further in the west. But it does slightly back off the colors, but still, that doesn't mean it's not going to be hot. And then you can see it's still going to be pretty warm across the country, uh, maybe slightly moderating here. But all I want to say, guys, is when we reach out to week five right here, week five and week six, even week four, those are very iffy. And we don't know if, like, say week four right now, um, this is week four, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, so this is week four. Um, basically, we really, I, it's really hard to say if we are going to be having a lot of, what am I trying to get here? Sorry, there's my cat here, and he's trying to distract me again. And so, basically, what I mean by week four, five, or six, that may not be accurate, is it's fairly far out, almost a month out, and again, it really changes day by day. I remember um, early on, I was looking somewhere in May, late May, and I was looking for June, July, and it was showing fairly cool weather, and now you can see it switch into a massive heat wave or lots of boiling temperatures, so... This really could change. This heat could persist for more than a month, or it could die off within a week or two and go completely below average. And those are very two real possibilities, and I will be updating you guys on this. I may be making a long-range forecast soon just for well, a visual of what's to come. And now you're probably curious to see the actual temperature, so let's go back to the GFS. And let's go to thermodynamics and two meter temperatures shaded. And let's go to hour zero, 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 which is present time. This was during the night, by the way, you could see. So um, this is during the day, Saturday, today. You can see mostly 90s across all the way into can Canada. 90s and cooler in the west. But again, is it cold? Not really. Still 70s, which isn't cold, but slightly cooler than average and this heat does um, persist especially across the east you could see some temperatures are going to be ridiculous 99 in New York um, not New York City just some New York City might be actually reaching um, the hundreds right there 100 degrees so very hot and just extremely hot temperatures you could see right there Boston I think north of Boston it could be like 100 degree temperatures and this as you could see persists 80s 80s 90s hundreds and California also, again, just because it's cooler, slightly cooler, according to the long-range outlook or the overall pattern, you can still see 100s and 90s are prevailing. And then, as I mentioned, later on in the forecast period, it does seem to come out as the west being slightly warmer. And you can see 90s in Montana, almost 100s. So it's not like Montana is not used to seeing um, warm weather. Don't get that, because Montana is one of those states where during the especially the plains right here because this is not really it's too mountainous yet this area right here the far eastern half of montana it's basically where the snow can fall really early on in the season but it could also be extremely hot in the summer it's basically like denver if anyone has ever lived in denver or tracked denver's weather often it is that in september it snows like three four inches and the next day it could be 70 or even 80 so it's crazy weather over there and you could just see some of these temperatures are just obnoxiously high, 104, 102. And the main um, video, my main purpose of this, I want to, uh, what I want you guys to take from this is that um, stay safe. Don't go too out. Don't go too, 
don't go too often out into the sun or outside because even if the sun's not out it can be deceiving because the humidity and the heat by itself without the sun is still very oppressive and that can really still um that could still lead to heat exhaustion dehydration and heat stroke um, heat stroke is obviously the most dangerous and especially if you're an elder or very young you are in um, in high risk for these types of these main three types of illnesses that you could get from the heat so this is definitely something that we need to take seriously definitely something that's not a joke and I'll definitely keep you guys updated on this heat wave since it is very dangerous and very very concerning almost so stay safe out there guys please um consider subscribing to my channel please consider liking the video um don't, again keep your keep uh, have some fun it's fourth of july but don't go crazy with the weather and don't go crazy with fireworks and anything like that because i know it's a crazy time of the year and when it comes to um i don't know how to say it was mischievous behavior <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider liking the videos. Please consider subscribing to my channel. And see you guys in the next episode.